I'm Marcus. I'm Steve. We're out here at Bailey Tolliver RV in Brownfield, Texas. I mean, right in the heart of everything. A little bit from Lubbock, a little bit from Dallas, a little bit from Midland Odessa. I mean, it's just worth the drive to come see New us. Mexico. New Mexico. We get a lot of business out of Mexico. Man, I've got a great trailer today. I've got an Outback Premium 330 RL. Rear living. Rear living. This is a great floor plan. I mean, one of the things I want to point out to you on this one is the auto level. I've got everything controlled right here. So I've got my controls for my auto level. I can do everything up or down, tongue jack, everything's controlled in one system right there. Makes it real easy to take care of everything. Of course, you do have your manual override if you have to have it. Tanks, batteries, and I mean, everything you need. These are 20 pound propane tanks. These are 30 those pound are propane yeah. tanks. Yes, sir, it's exactly correct. Come around on the side. Got this full we'll cap with the wraparound with the rock guard on it. Automotive uh, paint. Automotive finish. paint on the fiberglass. Large storage area underneath. You can catch inside. I've got motion lights, place for my inverter if I want to add one to it. Everything just controlled up underneath where you can get out of the way. There's something different out here in Brownfield today. We have virtually no wind. Look so at that awning. Taking it's not advantage flapping. of this yeah. wonderful awning with LED, LED lights lighting. on either side. Yeah. I mean, look how much space I get here. And then, of course, move down. We always talk about the solid steps, the G glass door, which to me is just probably the best looking thing in the world since they went to these black doors. Big pull handle large outdoor kitchen and I do like the fact that the whole door on this thing becomes an awning becomes an awning it doubles as a shade so I can sit under here and do I'm cooking cooktop. on the cook yeah. area yeah nice fridge in here for all your outdoor beverages you know, lots of storage, storage and drawers I mean you could you could cook for the whole family out here maybe the whole campground while you're out here <laughs> just kind of hanging out having a good time and I did notice, I don't know if you paid attention when you're looking at these, again, ball bearing guides, magnetic closures. So they're not just regular latches as that pushes forward. Magnetic wood, closure. It's screwed, glued. Screwed and glued. Big bumper on the back for a place of storage for your uh, black, you know, your sewer hose, 50 amp connection for your uh, power cord. Neat. Diamond plate. I do like the diamond plate. These are seven point auto level seven point auto level that's very unique i'm familiar with six point but, yep uh, seven point auto level outdoor convenience center we talk about this a lot but think about it putting everything all in one place so like always i've got pictures for idiots like me so i know how to make my winterization work and everything else so you select fresh water you select whether you're on city water right your fresh water tank all that stuff right what if the water's on ah! <laughs> Key TV hookup, like we've talked about in the past. Everything's all in one place there, wow. makes it really nice and easy. You don't normally see storage like this towards the front of a, of a travel trailer, Marcus. No, but it gives you a place you can put your 50 amp power cord, you your outdoor pass stuff. Through all the way through on this one because you've got your tankless hot water heater, and I know you like that. Tankless water heater, I'm telling you. I don't like taking a five minute shower anymore. My age, my bones are old and tired. I need to, I need to soak a little bit in there. And I also have a port so I can expand my solar both on the side here, or I can expand the solar up on the top. But this does it have a solar on this It already one? has solar on top of this one, yes, would sir. Would that be the 220? That would be the 220, solar correct. Solar flex, cool. Well, well, let's, let's go, go inside. Let's go yeah. and get a look and see what we got inside of this gorgeous trailer. I'm excited. I'm really, really digging on this floor plan for a bumper pull. I mean, this is a great trailer, and it's a perfect layout for, you know, you to take a couple grandkids and go out and hang out for the weekend. Okay, let's get a gander in here and see just what we got going on. Man, this is great. Look at this. This island just kind of jumps out at you that you got a, uh, you know, kitchen island over here that's... Nice solid surface countertop, no formica there. Dish rack, so I can cover up the top of my undermount stainless steel sink. Still have my sprayer, nice, just like nice, I have at the nice. house. Microwave. Microwave. <laughs> Who would have thought? A paper towel holder. I got you. Storage all over this thing. And again, you got those magnets, you got the solid wood, you can yep. see the screws, hidden hinges, absolutely. Same thing with the magnets on here. Nice big deep drawer, storage down underneath. Little place there. Oh, look at this. I guess maybe spices and things like that. Can Little go spice rack, yeah. Three burner cooktop. It's always a nice. With a larger than normal oven. And you've got a good sized drawer down there, kind of disguised to make it look like it's all part of the uh, that cooktop range. Again, with the hidden hinges, 
And I noticed the latest and greatest in technology, the 12 volt this. direct current refrigerator. 12 volt. Look at all the space almost, inside there. Almost 13 cubic feet. We just plugged this trailer in. This thing's already cold. Good grief. You know, over here, I'm gonna go back to my thing that I like the most. Yeah. The theater seating, so I can kick back and relax. Have a seat over there on the trifold sofa that comes out and makes a queen size queen bed. bed. If you got some people hanging out with you. Okay. You know, over here you can see a beautiful fireplace. And right now, Steve, I don't have any heat on that thing. It's just on for a little bit of ambiance. Gives me some light. Nice. Stereo head above that, so I can listen to the stereo music inside, outside. Is this that new invisible TV that you don't see it until this you turn it on? This is the new invisible TV. Nice. nice. You know. But, you know, we got to keep that in there. And then, of course, your TV can be wired through your sound system. You can see all the storage over here. But I'm telling you, these opposing slides, oh, yeah. look how much room we have in here. Love the blackout shades on the roller blinds here. I mean, all kinds of space there. Well, one of the things, too, about this that's kind of unique is, that, you know, a lot of um, trailers this size are going to have a second air conditioner up in the bedroom. Right. But this one has two uh, that are on the blade system. They're all ducted together so you can run one AC. If it's extremely hot outside, you turn on that second AC and they both have the uh, you know, paper replaceable 12 by 12 filters inside. And they are both, these are both fully thermostat controlled. They're they are. not, it's not yeah. a dump in there with just the, the roto switches. This is full thermostat control on both of these big ACs. It's fantastic. Uh, should be more than enough to keep you nice and cool in here, even on some of the hottest days in Texas. Man, this is definitely I mean, very- I love it. Big, big, nice dinette, freestanding dinette over there, so I can set four people there all day long. If you're like me, a little bit larger, I can move away. You know, we got our. Kind of reminds me almost of being in a cabin up in the, uh, so. the woods or up in the mountain yeah, or on the much lake. So. This is gorgeous. You know, I mean, and then, you know, I don't know if you caught it above above the bar there, but there's a nice skylight up there. Oh, yeah. You got With the light LED around lighting it. around it, too, yeah. You know, but then I can, if I want to, if I want to cut some light out, I can just give the shade a pull and block out my skylight so I don't have the sun coming in. Love the LED LED ring around the top of it so I get yep. more light on there. I mean, I think this area is great, but it I'm gonna is. tell you what. Is, I mean, this is huge. Can you, can you show me something in the bedroom? So we have our control panel for all the connections, um, turning on lights. If you also notice that you got tank heaters on here, this has a fully enclosed uh, heated underbelly. Uh, you've got your AC thermostat for the back one over here. You also have your controller for the hot water tankless heater. Look at this bathroom. Yeah, it's just no, got very a nice. lot of and room I, in And it. I like the dual entry into the bathroom. So plenty you know. of room in that shower. Just, uh, I like the finish looking. The faux marble looks really great. You've got a porcelain toilet with the Vortex flush system on it. What a, what a bathroom. That's awesome. So you, you move right into the master bedroom. I mean, I've got washer and dryer prep. Combo unit. With you can the... put a nice combo unit in here. You sure can. But I don't lose my top shelf, so I've still got some space I can put Look things in there. Look at the room in here for this. Nice closet. Got the hanging bar all the way across. Again, with the shelf on top for accessories or shoes. Very, very nice size bed. Look at that. Is that a king size, Steve? Is that what I see there? That is a king size bed. I love that. I mean, that's room for me to get on there. And I bet you anything when I raise this up. Oh, you can fit some look stuff Look at all that storage. There. And again, on the, the gas struts, so I can raise this back up. Not have to hold it with my shoulder. I've got access to the bathroom from in here. Again, you see the blade system up on the top with the second AC. Two reading lights above the bed. That makes for a nice headboard down there. You can lay there and read a little bit. At the end of the night, you can turn it off. You know, and then you can see as you spin around, huge dresser, four very large drawers. Again, on guides. I hear quite a few people talk about how difficult it is to uh, put bedding on one of these beds. I can reach right over here to the front. Obviously, well, I being able to stand on either side, it makes a big difference having to walk around Overhead. the bed storage as well over here they very good use of everything I mean, I you can't, want here i can't think of a whole lot of stuff you'd need you know to go spend the weekend out at the lake or something yeah i can I mean, stay, stay on a two-week vacation without anything definitely I'm, could i'm in well, listen folks i would invite you to come down to brownfield make a short drive from wherever you are take advantage of our memorial day savings
huge sales right now. My 24s are priced cheaper than most 23s that are on the market. Again, my name is Marcus. I'm Steve. And together we are the RV Ninjas. Ninjas.